Today we're going to look at a puzzle called Ballast. And Ballast is perfect for grade 2 students working on addition, perfect for grade 4 students working on multiplication, perfect for grade 8 students working with exponents. So let's look at how this game plays. Each sheet comes with three or four puzzles. One of those puzzles is impossible, and it's the student's objective to try to figure out which one. The other two are possible to solve. That means that you can put the ballast in the left and the right part of the starboard and port sides of these battleships, and they will balance. Let's see how it works. So I could put the 50, the 10, and the 5 over here, and that would be 65. And does that balance with 40, 20, and 15? No, it doesn't. That's equal to 75 on the left. So here we have not found the solution for this leftmost puzzle. Let's see the solution. There it is. So here we have 70 on the right and 70 on the left. That is a balanced boat. The rocks that are on the right side are equal in weight to the rocks that are on the left side. You got that one? Yeah, you got it. You solved it. Yes, you got it. Right? This makes that this does make it float. Okay, there you go. So here's a multiplication problem. This is for grade four. So again, two out of these three galleons are going to float. One of them's going to sink, and your children have to figure out which one. Can we make this float? Well, let's see. These two numbers are multiplied together, and these three numbers are added. So let's see. Uh, how about if I put 3 times 7, that's 21 on this side, and is that equal to 5 plus 9 plus 11? Uh-oh, no, that's too much. That's 25 on this side. So I failed again. Arr! There's a few things I really like about ballast. First of all, giving students impossible problems is a very, very good idea. Not all problems in life have got a solution. So it's very important for students to get that experience with puzzles that have got multiple solutions, puzzles that have got a unique solution, and puzzles that don't have any solution. Another thing that I like about ballast is the use of warships. And that's because it's a great way to pull in that half of the class that has got too much testosterone.